Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import pictures from your Fuji camera to your Mac computer. So, um, if you have the latest OS, this is the way to go. You're going to have your Photos app. Now, before doing this, connect up your camera to your computer uh, with the USB cable that it came with. Turn on your camera, so have it off. Once it's connected, turn it on. And if Photos app doesn't come on right away, just uh, click on it and it's gonna open up. Now usually, for if you're just plugging in for the first time, it will open up by itself. In this case, it did. Um, now if you don't want this to open up every time you plug in any camera or your iPhone or anything like that, then you can go up here and uncheck this bar up here and it's not gonna open up automatically next time. But if you do want it to do that, then just leave that on. Now this is the quickest way to import any videos. I know Photos apps pretty annoying the way that uh, you have to export things because it takes forever but I'm just gonna show you how to do everything okay so right now we're just gonna leave that check mark on here are my videos and we're just gonna import all videos so just click up here and you can see the progress that it's doing just by clicking up here you're gonna see a circle so let's just click on the circle and you're gonna see how it's doing now this might import a little bit slower than usual and it's gonna export them as well a little bit slower than usual because I'm also importing pictures from another camera uh, using another program at the same time so on my end it's gonna be a little bit slower than what you guys will see on your stuff um, for pictures it always takes a lot less time to import any pictures than from what you would see on videos videos always take longer to import and export so on this video I'm gonna teach you not just how to import them to iPhoto uh, which is this is the new iPhoto app which is called photos um, but I'm gonna show you how to export them from your photos app properly so once they finally download as you can see right here um, you can just drag them out so you can just hold and click and then you can just choose them or you can just click on one then press control and click on the other okay so we click on both of them now we want to export these pictures and videos well in this case you just have to drag them out so you can create a folder here in your desktop if you want or whatever folder you want and uh, you can just drag them into there in this case I'm just gonna drag them out so I'm just gonna hold for a bit then I'm gonna drag them out and just let go now if that didn't work the first time don't worry just hold and click again till you see that number two pop up or whatever number you have and then just drag them out slowly I make my case is a little bit more laggy just because I'm doing other stuff on my computer at the same time and then you will see nothing that's right um, that's the way you guys are gonna see right away that's because you guys have to click up here you're gonna see that circle again and you can see the progress and this is the part that's annoying about photos um, when you want to export something it's not gonna show your preview or little icon somewhere saying that it's exporting and you're gonna get something at some time but it's you have to click on the circle to actually see how long it's gonna take in the progress so you might see a line starting up you might not see nothing like me right now um, and you do have to click on it again because it does close up after a little bit um, and uh, if you're exporting stuff out of photos app like I said you're gonna have to wait okay so be patient uh, photos app Apple pretty much screwed up uh, with iPhoto you can export things a lot faster with this new photos app you have to wait it uh, exports them really really slow so even if it's two videos like this although one's nine minutes which is pretty big um, it's gonna take pretty much forever anyways that's how you export them and import them to your computer you don't need to export them like I did you can always just leave them in your photos library if you like that uh, however I don't like my stuff to be in photos I just import it that way and then what I do is just put them in the folder and then organize it myself um, but that's just my way you guys could just have it on your photos app and then you're ready to go um, but that's how you do it with Fuji cameras it's the easiest way because a lot of you are not gonna have any luck by just bringing out the SD card and putting on your Mac you might not read anything so this is the way to do it um, and just in case you lost the USB cable which is the same one which you charge your camera with for most of your cameras um, you can put your SD and then go into Photos app and it might detect your SD. Depends how you formatted your SD card, okay? So any questions, comments, or errors, you can write them here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.